Hi. Huh. Well, it's been quite a year. <laughs> we are coming to the end of 2018. We made it out alive, almost. We're almost there. Um, I'll just jump right in. This video is going to be about um, my lifestyle trans transforming, I guess, into an almost raw lifestyle, and I'll explain what I mean by that. I'm already vegan. I went, uh, I went pescatarian. I was pescatarian for a year. I was then I went vegetarian for a year. I should do a video over that whole journey because that's pretty interesting. Um, and then I was just like, oh, I'm gonna go vegan, and I've been vegan now a little over two and a half years, I think. Never have ever considered going back. <laughs> I love being vegan. I love this lifestyle. I love how it makes me feel. I love everything about it. Um, but ever since I became vegan, just like really anyone else or anyone who has any lifestyle, maybe not even if you're not vegan yet, or maybe you never will be, I don't know. But I know we always, um, just as humans, like dabble into so many different like ways of eating or um, you know, like kind of ways of doing you, like what's best for me. And, and it's kind of a journey and it's a lot like to figure out because some things do work better for other people. Um, so I had, I've gone, I've done so many different like ways of eating since I've gone vegan, just like regular standard vegan, um, really high protein vegan, higher carb vegan, higher fat vegan, like everything you could think of except raw. I was probably about a year ago really intrigued by the idea of, of doing raw vegan uh, just because I had heard some really good things about it, about detoxing your body and, um, and its healing powers and things like that. Um, and then I found, I met this guy and he told me about a program he had done called Nutritional Balancing. So then I did that for a while, for I think five months earlier this year, 2018. Uh, but I wasn't able to work out on the program. I was never able to have fruit. It was a really strict way of eating and a really like structured way of life. And I just really, it really like burnt me out. It was just too much that I took on at once. And I deeply missed fruit, deeply. Um, you also had to cook like everything that you ate, which was a little bit annoying sometimes. Anyway, so I ended up deciding that wasn't for me, at least not right now. Uh, the reason I had done it though was to um, was for its healing properties. There was a lot of studies on you know all these people that had healed and and this the guy I had talked to had healed himself by it. Uh, but anyway, long story short, I love exercising and I love eating fruit <laughs> if I want to eat fruit. So it just really didn't work out for me. Um, now I recently for Christmas one of my gifts was. Anthony Williams book medical medium uh, like healing fruits healing foods healing foods I think it's called I don't know uh, but if you look at medical medium you'll see all his books um, and then I actually just ordered because that's the second of four books I just ordered the first one just medical medium uh, like healing yourself from chronic Ill illness or something by the way if you don't know uh, if you don't know me well enough or if maybe this is your first time ever seeing me or getting to know me. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, MS, um, May of 2016, 2017, <laughs> May of 2017, yeah. So, all, kinda, yeah, a little over a year and a half um, ago. And so that's another reason why I've really dabbled into like all these different things, just to see what felt best for me. Uh, anyway, so medical medium, he talks about the healing powers of foods and the healing powers of fruits. And I'm recently just now coming off of uh, kind of a competition prep. I really wanted to do a bikini competition and I still will someday. It's definitely going to happen in my lifetime. <laughs> I don't know when right now, honestly, I have so many things going on. I'm working on getting out of debt um, a lot. Not, not like crazy debt, but you know, enough to definitely weigh on you. Um, I'm working on building my business. I'm working on a lot of different things, so it wasn't necessarily the right time. Also, the coach I hired really wanted me to have a lot of protein. 
and I the only way I was doing that was by having like three protein shakes a day luckily I love my protein but it's still like three a day that's kind of a lot um, fake meats tofu uh, you know just so many different like vegan forms of protein and, and meat besides like plants and I really just started to not feel as good I was also in a calorie surplus so I've I've like I weigh a little bit more right now than I normally would actually about oh gosh it's scary to think about but I weigh probably about 15 pounds more than I did when I started the prep which I've also gained a lot of muscle but I've definitely gained some fat too anyway I just wasn't feeling as good so that what is what brought me well receiving the medical medium book for Christmas and realizing like this guy definitely promotes whole foods, whole fruits and vegetables. Uh, celery juice is a big one. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> um, I might do his 28 day cleanse, but anyway, that's a whole nother video because I'm not even sure yet. But where I am right now, I've decided I'm not gonna be fully raw vegan because I do enjoy having my protein shakes uh, as snacks or like if I'm on the go and I need a meal or like at home with smoothies I like to add them in sometimes um, things like that and I also enjoy like baking or roasting either like sweet potatoes or potatoes or vegetables sometimes so I don't want to tell myself no you can't do that um, so I might do that sometimes and then I don't want to avoid eating out so like whenever friends want to go out to eat, you know, or, or whatever, I want to go. Like, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, well, I'll go, but I'm just going to like drink water and tea or something. Um, and that's fine. If I might go all the way raw someday. I don't know. But I'm just saying right now that's not exactly where I'm at. But I do want to enjoy and experience the healing powers of only having fruits and vegetables. That's really the main focus. Um, and then maybe some of my protein powder and then some supplements. But um, as far as eating goes, you know, I'm gonna probably cut out oatmeal for the most part. I'm going to, I'll just tell you what I got at the grocery store. I have my little receipt here, which I think I'm gonna start going to the farmer's market. I live in North Hollywood, so there's about a thousand <laughs> near me probably. Um, but I just want to tell you guys some of the things that I got and I'm expecting it'll last it'll last definitely at least like maybe four or five more days but I've just got to get smarter about it because I, I'm budgeting right now and I'm trying to get out of debt I am getting out of debt not trying uh, so I do want to be a lot smarter with money and I've actually I have a grocery budget budget to not go over a hundred it was a hundred dollars a week now that i'm changing to this lifestyle i might up it to 120 i don't know yet i just got to kind of dabble with it but i'll just tell you guys what i purchased so you can kind of get an idea uh so i got oh wait that was not for me so i got carrots you can eat them raw apples um anthony williams talks a lot about the healing powers of apples i got some coconut water so that i could mix in with like some berry smoothies and stuff uh, I think I already said carrots, cucumbers, because he speaks about how good cucumbers, cucumber water is. Also, you can eat cucumbers raw. Celery, uh, I'm gonna start celery juicing. By the way, I'm gonna do it in my blender, so I'll make a video about that. Um, I don't, I'm also kind of minimizing my life a little bit more, so I don't wanna have, I don't wanna repurchase a juicer that I just sold. I didn't even sell it, I gave it away, but I don't wanna repurchase it. I don't wanna have more things right now. That is not the goal. Um, so celery, dates, spinach, bananas, uh, iceberg lettuce, avocado, a lot of, I got like a lot of raspberries that were on a really good deal. <laughs> um, I guess that's all I got, but like it was a, it was in like, like I got a lot of raspberries, a lot of bananas, I think three like ginormous avocados. Um. But right now, I'm not going to be having too many fats. Oh, yeah, I got almonds as well. I don't know. I don't see that on here. I got some almonds. I think I'm going to start maybe making my own almond milk just so that I can consider that raw as well. Um, so really quick before I end the video because I know that I've just been talking and you're probably like, shut up. <laughs> um, but how I'm, what I mean by saying 
I'm going to be eating almost slash mostly raw is at home whenever I cook I'll pretty much be having raw fruit raw vegetables whether it's blended up in a smoothie or I just eat it um, I will move up to like some nuts and seeds and stuff but right now I think I'm oh excuse me mostly gonna focus on raw fruits and vegetables because I I hear that's the best way to detox and cleanse is to have a little bit less fat which I'm not afraid of fats I'm not saying stay away from fats at all um, I am just saying I do want to cleanse right now um, but I will still be having protein powder I don't know how often maybe daily maybe just a couple times a week I don't really know it just depends on how I feel um, my protein powder is really clean though and really delicious <laughs> so um, and then whenever I go out to eat, I won't focus too much on whether it's raw. Like I won't tell my friends like we can only go to raw places, but I will try to order things that match the whole like eating only fruits and vegetables type of thing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I mean. Mainly raw fruits and veggies at home. I will sometimes bake vegetables like Brussels sprouts. I love doing that or asparagus or like sweet potatoes or in regular potatoes. I like cutting them into french fries and like eating them. French fries. <laughs> um, I will have protein shakes sometimes at home. When I go out to eat, I won't be too strict. So it's kind of like an, uh, it's like a, it's a step forward into the raw lifestyle, but it's not fully raw. That's not what I'm doing here, not right now. Maybe I will, and maybe I'll even do it for like a month uh, just to really cleanse out my body. I don't know yet. Um, but I'm very excited for this journey. Thank you guys so much for walk watching. Uh, it was really kind of dif difficult to see where this would kind of fall into my life because on one hand, I really, really wanted to do it. And on the other, I wanted to like still have my like protein powder sometimes. I wanted to be able to go out to eat sometimes. And I wanted to be able to like cook things if I really wanted to without telling myself like, no, you can't do it. Um, so yeah. This like almost raw thing should work out for a little while. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am going to be posting a lot more. So if you enjoyed this at all, or if you think I might be okay as a person, I am. But if, <laughs> if you agree, maybe you could like this video for me, or you could even subscribe. I know there's not too much cool stuff out there yet but it's coming it's on its way on its way so thank you guys so much um have a lovely day and a wonderful rest of your 2018